club, make it run it up. She got bands, get your money up. It's your boy Just Be on the check in. You already know. Make sure y'all tune in to Sakara.com. Hey, what's up? It's your girl Sakara, and right now I'm with Just Be. How are you? Good. Thanks for asking. So I want to start out by saying you're a music artist. I've seen you perform and kill the stage, and you know, I just want to know how do, how would you describe your sound if you could? Um, my sound. Describing it is kind of hard. I'm more of a come and get the energy type of person. So like. Most people nowadays, they don't really listen to music. They just get in whatever the beats or whatever gets them going. Like me, I always say like, when you see me perform or when you around me, you get my energy, you always gonna get, you're gonna get a piece of me every time. So I try to just make sure everybody's in tune with my sound. So the unique thing about your performances is that you're energized, but you've also been in Canada. So tell me, what was that experience like? I heard you've been a few times, actually. Um, the first time was just a warm up, really, just to get the feel. Second time I was actually on there, they have like a South by Southwest, but it's called Northeast, North, South, or something like that. But NXNE, and that's their big festival out there. It's like on um, Dundas Square, which is like out, considered our 42nd Street, but in Canada. Tanache headlined, um, Big Frida, another artist named Jazz Cartier. He was dope. Um, a few others, but I was out there with my Stay Out Late brothers. Thank you. Shout out to uh, Scotty IV and them for letting me go in there and kill that stage. It was just amazing. Awesome, and congratulations, those are really big names. So I want to ask, if there's any artist you could say that you give most of your credit to as far as influencing you music-wise, who would it be? Um, I always, I always, always got to say my brother, my oldest brother first, Grams. If it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't even be doing music. But when it comes to like people in the industry, one of my favorite artists is J. Cole, of course. And then like, energy-wise, Busta Rhymes was like always somebody I like, I like since I was young. But um, I just really like J. Cole right now, that's why I'm on to Hove, of course, Brooklyn style. But myself, my brother, Cole, and then people around me. That's dope. And you also have your own brand. Oh yeah, Just Be Self brand. I, um, when I came up with that, it was really more so just me trying to find myself, like trying to figure out, because I used to have a bunch of aliases, different things I used to do throughout my life. So I was just like, when I want to rap, what do I want to be known for? Like, I want to just be known for just being myself, for people just getting a piece of me, whether it's on a stage, whether it's just an interview or whatever the case may be. Just, I don't I don't want to feel like I'm out of place, you know what I'm saying? So, whenever somebody's around me or with me, they, you're going to get me. Like, it's not going to be no front, no hidden agendas, none of that. It's just, just be, that's it. That's what's up. So, as far as products, can you tell us a little bit about what people can expect from your brand and what they can get? Um, as of right now, I have a few hats out, little snapback hats with the logo B on the front, just be yourself on the side, a couple pins, and then we, whenever I'm about to cook up a few teas, AMG, just be yourself teas, uh, it's just a few stuff I'm working on, and then two projects on the way. That's dope. And if you can guess, where do you see your brand five years from now? What's your ultimate goal? My ultimate goal is being able to come back and give back to my neighborhood. That's really why I do it. Like, it's cool to, to make money for yourself, but it's more better when you're making enough money to change where you come from. And where do you, where do you come from? Brooklyn. East New York. All right, all right. It's a hard part. You make it out of there, you make it out of anywhere. I heard that. So as far as your music, you know, I'm sure you make a lot of different songs that you're in love with, but I need to know your favorite. I need to my know the favorite, one. My favorite? It's not even a turn up song, actually. It's, it's just a song that means a lot to me. September 19th, off my 1 9 project. That's always gonna be my favorite, hands down. Why is that? Um, it's, it's deep. Okay. Uh, it's deep. Like, it's, it's, it's one of those touchy, touchy subjects. So, like, maybe, maybe another time. Maybe. Another time, but right? it's definitely, make sure you guys go check it out. It's on uh, Apple Music, Spotify. September 19th is the name of the chart. And if we fast forward a little bit, you recently released a project with IVL. Yeah, yeah. Mix emotions. Mix emo it's crazy because, shout out to IVL, uh, the project wasn't even supposed to really be a project. He had sent me a track and it was, it was like, yo, just what you think of this? And I had sent him back the hook in like 10 seconds. Oh, wow. So when he, he was like, yo, nah, this is fire. When we recorded that, he was like, yo, we got to get it rolling, we might have something here. So we turned it into a project and then Mix Emotions was created. Well, I gotta ask, which song was that? Cause I heard the project and I love all of them, so. Focus, focus. But okay. the, the actual song that started the project was Pressure. Okay. So yeah. go listen to Pressure. Pressure is definitely dope. Oh, 
but like focus visuals out on YouTube, it's fire. It's fire. It's one of my, one of, this is a goodie. It's definitely a goodie. It's one of those swag raps, clean, smooth, but still got that bounce to it. Right. Yeah, it's cool. So when did, like, as far as you can remember, when did you start making music? I said, a cheat. I started writing when I was nine because I didn't like doing English homework. <laughs> Yeah, for real. I mean, we used to do journal entries and stuff. I hated writing like regular stuff, so I used to write rhymes. And the book would be done before the year was up, so I used to just read my rhymes out, and I was good to go. So I just kept writing from then. I started recording when I was 18. From then on, that's when it's just been love. Yeah. Just cheating. So for anybody out there who wants to keep in touch with you know exactly what you're doing on social media can you let them know where they can find you um on instagram just be so j-u-s-s-b -S -S dot yourself on facebook you can find me at just be yourself all together j-u-s-s-b -S -S yourself all together twitter same thing snapchat same thing i'm everywhere spotify apple music just be j-u two dollar signs dash b and I just want to ask you one last thing. I want to know, I know you collabed with IVL and it was great. Yeah, yeah. Who else would you collab with if you could? Famous or non-famous? Oh. Uh, you get one of these. Famous, Cole, of course. Cole, Hove. Tory Lanez, I like Tory. Uh, non-famous, still waiting to do something with my boy Quality. Shout out to Quality. Um, me and my bro Euroflow always cooking up something. Um, who else non-famous that I like? That's it. That's it right now. Probably, I'll probably know it like later on. But as of right now, off the top, them right there. That's cool. They're down with the dick. She twerk for the club. For me, she a strip. I ain't got a tip. She know I'm the shit. This song is a hit. I'm talking my shit.